Well, welcome back. I'm joined now by Michaela Taylor, Outreach Coordinator for the Christopher Youth Center in Monroe, and she's here to talk about their upcoming event, Light the Night. Michaela, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. I love the name of the event, Light the Night. Right. Me How did too. you come up with the name? Um, well, actually, it's for National Runaway Prevention Month, uh -huh. and they have something called Light the Night on November 17th, and it's national. Okay. Um, and that's just kind of what they called it. What's so. going to be taking place at your event? Um, well, we are going to be having food trucks. We're going to have the Blue Taco come out. We're also going to have the cookout come out. Um, we're going to have some local health vendors, mm -hmm. and we're also going to have some games and activities for the kids. And we're also going to have, for the first 30 minutes, a candlelight vigil, um, which is going to be, um, we're going to have a couple of speakers come out, mm -hmm. and we're also going to have someone come and do a vocal performance, and then we'll have our candlelight vigil. Nice. So I helped paint one of the first Christopher Youth Centers very long ago when wow. it just got started. So I'm so happy to see that it has come such a long way. Absolutely. Um, for those who don't know what it is, um, describe uh, what the Christopher Youth Center is and what you provide. Um, well, Christopher Youth Center is a youth center. We have a youth shelter mm -hmm. for ages 11 to 17 where we provide housing, counseling, tutoring, basically whatever that child needs while they're in our care we try and provide that for them they can stay for up to 21 days but sometimes even longer depending on the situation um, and we also have a transitional living program for ages 18 to 24 um, where we provide rental assistance housing um, and whatever they need to become self-sufficient all of our services are completely free and what type of uh, what are the children going through that come to the Christopher Youth Center well it's for victimized homeless and runaway youth um, so youth that are in some kind of crisis and need immediate help that can come and get that from Christopher Youth Center. Okay, and very need, uh, very much in need of support. When is the event? And uh, give us the times and how we can get tickets. Well, it's a free entry, so right. anybody can come. Um, even if you're not run away or victimized or homeless, um, you can mm -hmm. always come and get those resources so you can share them with your friends. Um, but it's going to be at the Monroe Civic Center, and it's going to be from 6 to 8 p.m. We're going to have the candlelight vigil from 6 to 6.30, and then mm -hmm. following that, we're going to have our resource fair. A lot of fun for the kids and the whole family. Absolutely. It was so nice to meet you, Michaela. Thank nice you so much you. for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. And up next on Louisiana Living, we'll sit down with Kenya Robertson with the Monroe Regional Black Chamber of Commerce to talk about Buy Black Month. So stay with us.